And in just days, park guests will be treated to a rare combination balloon fiesta and an annular solar eclipse. Yeah, it happened Saturday and fiesta has a lot planned for it. Anchor Sasha Leninger is live at Balloon Fiesta Park with all the activities that are taking place, Sasha. Darlene and Ron, Fiesta staff expect this field here to be packed for the final weekend of Balloon Fiesta, especially on Saturday for that eclipse. In event for that, they're giving away 80,000 of these special eclipse glasses to people who come to the event, and they say it's going to be a rare one. It's a site that won't be seen for another 375 years, the annular solar eclipse. Literally are in ground zero for this event. So if you look through the entire eclipse path, there's probably no major city as big as Albuquerque right in the center to see the ring of fire. Balloon Fiesta celebrating the big day with the first for the event, a daylight and dusk glow during the eclipse. So the day's activities will start out with uh, 545 balloons having a mass ascension here at the park. Fiesta kicks things off with a drone show at 545, then Don Patrol at 6, Mass Ascension at 7 with the National Anthem and a flyover followed by the Morning Glow. We anticipate probably a world record crowd for Balloon Fiesta Park on that Saturday. So we recommend that everyone come early and get that spot. That's because the start of the partial eclipse begins at 913. Maximum eclipse happens around 1036 and it all ends at 1209. During that time, we're actually something that's never been done before here in Albuquerque and we're actually going to have a daylight dusk dark and then daylight again balloon glow so it'll be approximately 75 hot air balloons uh, that will take center stage and this is after the morning flight steve cates also known as dr sky is an expert in astronomy and space he says if there are few clouds on eclipse day to look around animals do different things particularly during total eclipses so what you'll see is this eerie, very strange glow, not quite like a total eclipse. The moment, he says, a truly unique one. Where in the solar system do you have two celestial objects, one far, far away, the sun, 93 million miles, and the moon, which is only 2,159 miles in diameter. Think of it this way. The right side of the moon would be New York City. The left side would be Phoenix, Arizona, if you looked at the total distance. Now, Fiesta will be handing out 80,000 of these glasses to visitors as they enter the park through any of the public gates. I tested them. They work just fine. If they don't have any more of these glasses when you come, you can buy a pair inside any of the merchandise tents. Back to you. Sasha, thank you. Also ready for the eclipse, our very own meteorologist Joe Diaz and Eric Green. They're hosting live events at Balloon Fiesta during the eclipse. Joe will MC from the main stage interviewing astronomers and other experts. And Eric will chat with scientists to demonstrate some of their technology.